Hi, I'm Martin and I'm making this video about the SSL Zen WordPress plugin. The reason I'm making this video is this plugin solved a really specific problem for me and that was how to get a free SSL certificate for my WordPress website. Now, you won't know me very well, but I'm pretty much a total cheapskate and I don't like paying for things. I don't like paying for good hosting packages. I have a cheap hosting package with GoDaddy. I don't like paying for an SSL certificate either, especially when you consider that an SSL certificate um, is basically free now thanks to the Let's Encrypt principle. So a lot of GoDaddy customers will be a bit annoyed to come through and find that they want to charge you £45 a year for an SSL certificate. Now I don't know if they're getting you a Let's Encrypt certificate and charging you, that would be not great. Um, it's probably more likely they're not using a Let's Encrypt certificate. They are using like a paid or their own service and it does cost money to do. That's absolutely fine. But you as an individual with your own small pokey blog like me, shouldn't have to pay this kind of money to protect your site, especially if you want the wildcard SSL. Suddenly it's like nearly triple the price, it's crazy. Um, so I think it'd be worth talking about when you need this plugin and when you don't need this plugin, okay? There will be scenarios where this plugin is not right for you. First of all, it's a WordPress plugin. It's not a solution for any website on the web to get a free SSL. You must have WordPress, you must be using WordPress and it's a WordPress plugin. Second of all, um, you shouldn't use this plugin if you have your own managed hosting and they can set up a certificate for you. If you have really nice hosting, you've probably got someone you email and you can contact them and they can support you and just install a certificate for you, a Let's Encrypt certificate. Get them to do it if they can, if they're there. Don't struggle along with this plugin or use this plugin if you can um, get uh, server support to do it for you. Check out the options that your hosting provider gives you. I did, I'm with GoDaddy in the UK, and this is the option we have. So this is why we turn to this plugin. Um, I'd also point out reading the Isotropic blog post about this. They wrote this seven months ago. It's got a how-to, and I'm gonna do the same, but the plugin has changed a bit in the last seven months. A lot of this set up in the wizard, you don't need to do anymore. The plugin has had a very recent update that means it takes care of a lot of the setup automatically. If you have any questions about using this plugin as well, I'd recommend going to the wordpress.org site because um, they're way better at providing support about their plugin than I am. You can download the plugin from here um, and they're also super active on the support forum as well. So if you have a question, if you have a problem, they've usually got the answers. So go to them, go here, log in, ask your question. Um, two prerequisites before you start this. Sign into your hosting account and have cPanel access. Another prerequisite I should have mentioned just now, if you don't have cPanel access or equivalent access, you can't do this because you're going to need to go into your cPanel um, to install the certificate. It's no good just having like access to your domain or access to WordPress. You're going to need access to the files and, well, not the files, but the cPanel on your host. Um, also, please sign into your site into your dashboard as I have already. I've got this crummy website. Um, it's just a 2020 theme with WordPress. It's a terrible website, I need to make a better one. But for now, this website is not secure and it'll do the perfect job of demonstrating how to use this plugin. So first of all, we need to install the plugin. Let's go to plugins, add new, search for SSL Zen, install this one, it's got this pink key lock kind of thing um, and we'll just wait for a few seconds. I'll speed up any processes like this as well. Cool, the plugin is installed, we'll activate it and now uh, I'll skip this, I don't want to do like important updates or opt into anything you can if you want. So first of all the plugin is going to perform a check, make sure you're on an up-to-date PHP version um, and then forward you to select a plan. Now I'm not an affiliate of SSL Zen, you can join their affiliation program as a kind of like reseller or get a cut every time you make a sale. There is a premium version of this plugin, I can't get away from that. Um, you know, don't complain that a developer wants to get paid for their work, that's absolutely fine. I think the key difference is automatic renewal, that's the main benefit. Uh, also the installation is automatic as well. Um, so you are, as a cheapskate like me, you're going to have to come back every 90 days and refresh your certificate by following these steps again. However, it's up to you. It's, it's gonna take you about 20 minutes per year, to be honest, to, I mean, they say 60 minutes a year. I think it's quicker than that. Um, if you're really quick with computers, it's gonna take you 15 minutes a year. So I think this is a saving worth making if you've just gotta remind yourself because you will get privacy warnings when your certificate has expired. Um, and yeah, it's gone wrong. So 
Your details will be automatically pulled in as well. I'd recommend installing for the www prefix version 2. Not much point, I can't think of in not doing that, so tick that box. You're now going to need to provide your cPanel login details. This might seem pretty daunting, but basically this is your details for logging into cPanel. It could be your FTP account details if you're not sure um, what the difference is. So if you have FTP account details, pop them in here, whatever takes you to the site files on your server. Um, so I'll punch those in here now. And I'll agree to the terms. And we're gonna click next. It's gonna take a few seconds, but what this process is doing, the reason it wants this login, is it's going to take care of the verification for us. If you recall, I mentioned the Isotropic blog. Um, they take you through the old wizard where you could either pick DNS, uh, uh, domain verification or set up your uh, Acme challenge folder and put in verification files that way. So there's two methods, it was pretty flexible, but it was manual and it was slower. Whereas this is just, you wait for this to spin for a bit of time and it's going to automatically perform that verification and generate the certificate. If you have a problem at this stage, turn to the support forum, someone's probably encountered it before, or the plugin author can tell you what you need to change on your host. Okay, so you can see that we've skipped step two, domain verification. The plugin's just taken care of that for us. What we're going to need to do now is install our SSL certificate. This is why not only do you need that cPanel login for that verification process, but you need to go into the cPanel and do this with the SSL TLS. Here I am in GoDaddy. This won't be a helpful step for you if you aren't a GoDaddy user, but if you are used to avoiding the costs of GoDaddy products, you may well find this step helpful. Go through to your cPanel admin. I'm gonna close my account area now. And we need to go for the SSL slash TLS section of our cPanel. Skip all of this stuff. You need to go to install and manage SSL for your sites. None of this stuff is relevant. Go straight to manage SSL sites at the bottom. And you are going to need to scroll down and um, go to this sort of new certificate adding area. You need to pick a site that this applies to. It applies to martinjstevens.com in this video, so pick your domain from this menu. Go back to the SSL plugin. You're gonna copy the certificate, private key, and bundle. The plugin's awesome. It comes with a little copy button as well, so you don't have to download these files and upload them later. You can do that if you want, but I'd suggest doing it all whilst you're here. Certificate, private key, and authority bundle. Three things, copy, 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 field, 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 scroll down, install certificate, and wait. You'll see it should be successful um, because it's the right certificate, it is what it is, and that is applied now to my site. Back at the plugin now, we need to click next. There's still some stuff that we will need to do and what we will want to do. Um, for example, if I go to the dashboard again, this is another reason I really like this plugin because it's going to also take care of some stuff that we need to do to make HTTPS really useful. So for the moment, you'll see the permalink on your site, there's my ugly mug, is still HTTP. Uh, if we go back to the SSL Zen plugin, what it's going to do now in this step four is activate the SSL. Now that's not necessarily quite right because HTTPS is installed, you could visit HTTPS versions of the pages on this site. However, HTTP is still available, you can still visit non-secure versions of the site. So what this next step is going to do is first of all, redirect all traffic to HTTPS. This is really helpful. Um, if you, Even if you were um, using a hosting provider to install your Let's Encrypt certificate for you, they may not do this step for you. Um, at my job, which is also this kind of thing, um, we have to do our own redirect for this. So do bear that in mind. It's important that requests are not only available in HTTPS, but HTTP requests are forced to HTTPS. So people don't see that not secure nonsense. Uh, this is more of the same thing, so it's going to change the URLs as well, and also it's going to fix the insecure content warning. This is basically three ways of saying we're going to redirect traffic to SSL and force SSL. It also wants you to agree that if I don't do it in 90 days, um, it'll start showing a not secure warning. So bear this in mind. If you're a cheapskate like me and doing this for free, if you're not paying for the SSL Zen plugin, it's not going to auto renew for you. You're going to need to come back in 90 days and do this again. So let's click next, 
and now it's forced us, uh, it's logged us out of our site. Why has that happened? Well, because your site, your site is now secure. Uh, you're not signed in on HTTPS martinjstevens.com. You were signed in on HTTP. Yeah, okay, so we have to re-sign in to just check how successful everything is. Okay, so it's confirmed the certificate was installed. Uh, we can leave a review if you want. Go for it. Do whatever you want. Uh, I'm not going to do that right now. It'll make for a pretty boring video. Let's prove that SSL is being forced now. So first of all, um, it's going to give you a countdown in days on the dashboard of the plugin now. So this is really helpful. Either set a calendar reminder now whilst you're thinking about it, or just keep checking on this periodically. If we now go through to a page on the site, I'll close these because those are HTTP, remember. Um, you'll see also if I edit this about page again, the permalinks change to HTTPS. This plugin's actually rewritten our database URLs um, to show HTTPS instead of HTTP in the links. If I go back to my cPanel, go to File Manager. This is just showing you, you don't have to do this stuff, by the way. If I find the directory for this site, the well-known folder and the Acme Challenge folder, um, so these are SSL-related folders um, that the plugin's created. If I edit the HT Access file that's in here, you'll see it's added a force HTTPS Apache redirect script that is pretty standard. But it's put it in a sensible place, and it's making sure that that's happening. If I copy the URL and go back and try to visit HTTP, the version of my site in HTTP, hit enter. It's thinking about it and then it forces HTTPS. You can no longer see the HTTP version of this site. So this plugin is doing its job. When it comes to these advanced settings, I tend to not bother with them. I don't see the need to do them. You may have a specific application where these are appropriate. I don't advise locking down the HT access file. Other plugins might use it, so leave it. Uh, as I just demonstrated, this is kind of happening somewhere in its own HT access file as well. So I'm not sure about these settings, to be honest. It's all working. So if you have any questions, you can throw them at me, but I'll probably tell you to go and ask the support for the plugin, to be honest. I just wanted to show this plugin because it's a great way to get a free SSL certificate for your WordPress site, it solves a little hole in the market where people are trapped on these unsupported, terrible GoDaddy servers that they pay a pittance for, but also then suddenly have to pay almost as much money to protect the thing or to have the thing rank because there's also ranking signals in, in search engines for this. So yeah, thanks for watching and please like this video and view it or comment and share it or subscribe to the channel and tell us if you want me to do anything else and I'll try and do it.